Alright, so I guess I gotta fight Silver next, so hi, Silver. Oh, oh wait. So, pressing up, I'm pressing up, I'm pressing it. There. You're the destroyer of the visual of the world, I will destroy you because I'm a jerk. Oh, look at that. It's a six cutscene again. So I heard in this update he actually changed it. Yeah, he, he took the Silver Boss from Generations and he actually changed... Well, someone else actually made him a, um, a custom map that Sonic runs on here to make it look like, you know, it's, it's Soliana now, so it makes a little more sense, I guess. This actually would probably have been a better boss fight if it wasn't, if it was the original six boss fight, this probably would have, people probably wouldn't have hated it over as much. The thing is, though, it just looks, there's something about it that just doesn't look so good. I don't know what it is, but it just looks, I mean, it looks kind of grainy, kind of glitchy, kind of weird. I don't really know how to describe it, it's just, I don't know. Also, it makes no sense that there's, um, cars that are destroyed everywhere. I understand cars everywhere, because, you know, that makes sense. It's a road. But why are they parked in the middle of the road, and why are they all destroyed like this? I guess it's supposed to look like they're driving straight at you or something? I don't know. And what are these big cement balls? They, that didn't actually make sense in, um, in Generation 06 either, but I don't know. It seems like it makes less sense now since all this rubble is here and they don't have the excuse of, oh, it was, you know, it was a straight future, so yeah. Okay, wow, the blur effect is way overpowered, too. Look at this. I boost, and as soon as I boost, everything goes blurry. Okay, hang on a minute. This is actually a bad example right now, of course. Wow, Sonic trip kind of strangely. I won't. See, look, look at this blur effect. It's crazy. And he's not even going that fast. When he boosts. Rings, rings. Lots of rings. Take this! I'm just crashing into the cards on purpose without boosting because that actually gives you boost for some unknown uh, reason, so that's cool. And boosting the silver! Yeah! Oh yeah! It feels so cool with this blur though. It doesn't, like, it looks kind of weird, but it worth it because it looks so cool oh my gosh look at this yeah ready boost look how cool it looks oh my gosh we're ready to get all this stuff though i'm just saying the blur looks so nice except the quick step blur is kind of weird it's kind of oh, that looks good but when he speeds up a bit kind of like comes out of sonic or something okay 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 speed up a bit sonic speed up you might get hit by the giant ball if you don't like it could not be it might, it might get crushed kind of could kind of hurt yeah! Oh! Finally! Broke his face. Alright. Nice one. We got S, Frank. That's pretty good. Another badly animated cutscene from Sonic 6. Sega doesn't know how to animate, it seems. Actually, they know how to animate. Sonic just cutscenes are beautiful. Okay, what? I pressed up there and I went left. Okay, now I'm pressing right and I'm going right. It's honestly, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It really just kind of works when it wants to. Tails, what are you doing here? Come, because you're the food is good or something. I don't know. I... Oh, look at that, Tails. I'm on your head. Hey, Tails, you probably don't notice, but I'm on your head. Oh, by the way, what are you doing here? Nice. Now what's done? Okay, a spring. So, I honestly have no clue where I'm supposed to go next. Um, let me think. You know, six at this point... I don't remember what the next level was. I think by this point you went to New City, though. So let me go there, but first, let me notice... Wait, let me point out the fountain. Look how glitchy the splashes here are. I mean, the water here looks okay, but the, the water flowing off of the fountain looks... They didn't even, he, didn't, he didn't even try there, so hopefully they'll fix that. Oh, wait a minute, I just, I just thought of something I must ask. Before I um, go into a new city, I wonder if the huge, infamous forest hub world, I don't even care what it's called, is, um, I wonder if that's here. Dang it! Like, I mean, if I could find it, it'd be pretty cool to play King Valley. Alright, so I know that that's New City. I always used to get lost in this hub world, because it's just so... 
would you say, um, repetitive, boring, silly, I don't know what you want to call it, but, oh, there's red textures. Beautiful. This is actually lead to, oh, it does. Wow, this is a big hub world, because all of them are, like, mashed into one. The blur effect is way over, overdone, too. It's crazy. Uh, so you, I'm, I'm assuming you can't get to Kingdom Valley yet, or the castle. They actually, yes, you can't get the, to the castle. That's actually kind of cool. Rolling around at the speed of sound. I don't know. That's a great camera angle. It actually looks cool, but it's so glitched up. What is this? Why does? Why is the camera doing this? What? Oh! Oh my gosh, this is this actually where you have to go? Well, it appears there's Flame Core there, which makes sense, I guess. Except it doesn't really, but okay. I thought you weren't supposed to be here yet, so it was just glitched up because I didn't fix it. Wow, okay. You have to fix that. So I guess I'm supposed to go back to. New city. I just want to point out how cool these tunnels look. Very well done. I love how it changes the music too. Apparently, there's actually a hidden trigger found in Generations Left. Wait a minute. My wait. Did I just? Oh my gosh! I'm drifting. Wait a minute. So how come drifting isn't disabled throughout the rest of the game, but right here it's enabled? Well, throughout the rest of the mod, because this isn't really a game. It's a mod. Is it the boss fight? Oh my gosh. I didn't even bother changing the way it looks. Okay, so is this where you have to go? Okay, it is. All right, but first I want to see. Yes, the section is still here. It's really weird. It's actually secret area in 06. They actually kept it in the mod. That's cool. Okay, so I guess we yeah we have to go to White Acropolis at this point in the story. I actually forgot about this little. Now. I um played this mod before, as I've mentioned several times, and demo- Oh boy, it's gonna be fun. He says with sarcasm. Demo 2 of this mod had really bad physics for the snowboarding section in White Acropolis. They were really horrible. They were like a bit too fast, yet they were too- I, it was just not good. I can't even really describe it, it just, it was hard to control, like extremely hard to control. You crash into everything, I died so many times in that version. So I was hoping they would fix it, and it looks as though it, 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 I mean, maybe I just got better at it, but oh, oh! Okay, so it still has the glitches of 06, it appears, oh, okay. You still get stuck and can't move, just like 06's snowboarding physics. To know, bounce off of snowballs. That's crazy. Yeah, it's look. It looks so cool with the blur when you're boosting, though. Cause you're actually going fast on this second, so it doesn't look like it's just a blur just taking it faster than it is. Yeah. Okay, there. There's actually a ramp there. Before there wasn't, and I it took you like three or four tries just to get past that one section. It was really hard because you had to press it at the right time, and it was really weird timing. Now, you, now there's a ramp there, so you can see it better. Can see exactly when you have to time it. Nice. Okay, wow. Camera of the year. I just gotta say, I love how they actually combined all the um, stages into one, so you don't have to wait through any loading screens. I can't think of any other way they could have done it anyway, because from what I'm aware, Sonic Generations doesn't even have coding to tell. The, like, it doesn't even have like a trigger. In the, in the game's code that you can use to tell the game stop everything you're doing, like, stop everything you're doing, deload everything, and then reload something else. It, it doesn't have a trigger for that, like Assist did. So I don't even know if there is a way... Oh my gosh, I just destroyed that entire tower! That is awesome! I don't even know if there's a way to, um, to do anything but that in 06, so... I mean, in Generations. But it's still pretty nice that you don't have to wait to the loading screen. They could've... 
Don't see why they couldn't have done that in, act in the actual Sonic 06. Maybe there was, maybe it was the memory limitations of the 360. Maybe it just couldn't hold all the geometry and um, you know collision, all the objects, all the textures, all the lighting, all everything. And it just couldn't hold all that in its mem in its RAM all at once. I don't know what it was, but I just know that I like that it doesn't load like that. So. Gosh, these missiles though—they're so precise. It's Really hard to avoid. That's the sort of the point, but geez, they're really precise. And I love this music. The 06 music was always so awesome to listen to. Awesome. Oh, the lag! Oh! If you're watching this at home, do not worry. The tornado sirens are not going off right now. You are just hearing what is known as Sonic 06. 